Where's your mommy? Uh, I will film you. Fever 
feverishly working to redefine for all who want to be active and a part of our vision just what the prize is. And this prize, our vision, must be repeated and explained often so people can differentiate our vision from their reality. Here's where language becomes important. If we want policy instead of speeches, then this must be repeated early and often. Because what I'm alarmed by is that in the absence of us providing real definition, and there are reasons for that, people are beginning to think that a speech is policy. But as I said earlier, there was a lot of news yesterday. Some of it even more important than the Nobel Peace Prize award. But the award certainly overshadowed all other stories. And I'm always searching for context. Because as the US military puts it, perception management is important. And we must understand the context of what happens and when it happens in order to understand why. I always say that we must see the invisible, hear the unspoken, and read the unwritten. That's what some of the organizers of Ver la Verite were professionally trained to do before they became whistleblowers. Now they are our leaders. Now, what were some of those other interesting news items? Well, at a Native American lodge located next to Senator Jane McCain, John McCain's ranch, two people died and several others were hospitalized following a hazardous material situation at the sweat lodge, which is like a spiritual retreat led by Native Americans. I've been invited to participate in one upon my return to the U.S. Now I find this interesting and a story that should be followed up on. And I will be doing that because I want to make sure there's no bigger story hidden in an important cultural ritual of the Native Americans who are victims of a genocide in North America that continues to this day. On the day that the Nobel Prize was announced, we also learned that the U.S. bunker buster bomb will be ready in a few months. This is the bomb that holds over 5,000 pounds of explosives and is designed to penetrate hardened facilities, including those underground. Some brilliant people in the U.S. even want to put nuclear tips on bunker buster bombs. However, in announcing the near deployment of the project that pays McDonnell Douglas to adapt the B-2 bomber so it can deliver the Boeing-made bomb to its intended target, the Pentagon press secretary said this, the reality is that the world we live in is one where there are people who seek to build weapons of mass destruction. And they seek to do so in a clandestine fashion. The article also noted that the Obama administration had not ruled out military action against Iran. Another story noted that hours after winning the 2009 Nobel Peace Prize, President Obama met with his military advisors about troop levels in Afghanistan. The troop increase requested by the U.S. commander ranged, it is reported, from 10,000 to 60,000, although the top number isn't the one that was listed in that news report. <laughs> Je suis beaucoup 